which is eternal. Comfort their families. Sometimes I, I fear there's a creeping resignation that these tragedies are just somehow the way it is. That this is somehow the new normal. We can't accept this. As Americans bound in grief and love, we, we must insist here today there is nothing normal about innocent men and women being gunned down where they work. Sons and daughters have lost their moms and their dads. Little children. We Americans are not an inherently more violent people than folks in other countries. We're not inherently more prone to mental health problems. The main difference that sets our nation apart, what makes us so susceptible to so many mass shootings, is that we don't do enough, we don't take the basic common sense actions to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and dangerous people. What's different in America is it's easy to get your hands on a gun. Here there's a creeping resignation that these tragedies are just... But the politics are difficult, as we saw again this spring. And that's sometimes where the resignation comes from, the sense that our politics are frozen and that nothing will change. Well, I cannot accept that. I do not accept that we cannot find a common sense way to preserve our traditions, including our basic Second Amendment freedoms and the rights of law-abiding gun owners, while at the same time reducing the gun violence that unleashes so much mayhem on a regular basis. By the majority of Americans. By now, though, it should be clear that the change we need will not come from Washington, even when tragedy strikes Washington. Change will come the only way it ever has come, and that's from the American people. These are our fallen colleagues, Michael Wells Arnold, 